Guys, this is Andrew with SHTF Honey Badger, and today I'm going to be sharing with you my New Year's resolutions when it comes to prepping for 2023. Now, I'm going to be sharing mine in this video, but what I would like you guys to do as well is if you have any specific resolutions that you want to accomplish and tackle in 2023, especially prepping related, drop them down in the comments on this video below. And what we're going to do is a year from now, we're going to go back to this video. We're going to go over the resolutions that we made and we're going to see what we accomplished. And I'd love to be able to see people a year from now dropping what they've accomplished in the comments section. And let's see where we all go together and how this next year progresses. And hopefully this goes better than the last couple of years from what we've had happen. So for me personally, the first thing that I have on my list is I want to get out there and do more training and practice. That is the first item I have as a resolution. Now, I would say I've, I've had a good amount of training and practice in the past when it comes to things like firearm survival and emergency medical treatment, but that's something I want to expand on this year. I'm going to be personally looking out there for more courses that I can find with different companies, kind of giving them a test, giving them a feel, see how they are, and I'd be happy when I do start doing these courses to share my experience with you guys so you have a general idea what's out there and what's good and what's bad. So that's one of the first things I'm going to be focusing on this year. And I'm especially going to be setting time aside to do that as well, because that's, that's something I've been bad about the last couple of years. And that's the big thing I really want to change, because I, I feel like I could be gaining a lot more from doing that. Now, the second thing that is a resolution I have on here is going to be focusing more on exercising and improving my physical fitness. Now, over the last year in 2022, I did put a lot of effort into losing weight. I personally lost about 50 pounds from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, and I want to keep that going. I personally, going into 2023, still want to lose about another 15 to 20 pounds and slim down a little bit more and then start bulking up a little bit more on my muscle mass and improving my cardio. I think those are big steps when it comes to prepping on helping you feel well when something happens, helping you physically be able to deal with anything life throws at you, whether it's a full out blown SHTF situation or anything else that can happen. Just improving that physical fitness and wellness is going to be a big goal for me coming into 2023. And again, if we get stuff uh, example-wise that we can show with this throughout the year, we're definitely going to be sharing it with you as well. The third item on my list here is going to be working on better rounding out my preps. Because the reality is, no matter how prepared you feel you are, you definitely still can do more to be better prepared. That's just a fact of life. Personally, for me, the two biggest things that I really want to round out and focus on prepping-wise in 2023 is going to be rounding out my water preps. So I do have water preps, but I personally am not very satisfied compared to my food preps. I feel like they're very much lacking. So that's going to be one of the first things I'm going to be focusing on this year is working on ways to expand my water preps. And I am going to be sharing those with you as well. So as I develop new methods or find new methods that I like when it comes to, for example, prepping water, I will be sharing that with you guys. The other area that I want to focus on is going to be power generation. So if you do look around, there's a lot of prepping channels out there that they have this awesome luck of having companies out there like EcoFlow or Jackery sponsoring them and they're giving them free solar power generators. I don't have that luxury. I also understand that the large majority of you out here do not have that luxury either of getting free power sources, especially non-gas powered sources with solar panels attached that can keep them constantly recharged. So we're going to be looking at options going into 2023, and I'm going to be spending my own hard earned money on these options and be giving you my fair and honest reviews when I get a hold of them and start testing them out. So that's another item in 2023 to look forward to, but that is that other area of my prepping that I'm going to be specifically focusing on rounding out. Now, obviously, there's other areas as well. I'll be improving stuff and trying to get stuff a little bit more rounded and better prepared. But for me, those are my two big ones. It's those water preps and those power sources for off-grid use. So keep an eye out for those videos regarding those items going in, in through 2023. The fourth item that I personally want to focus on is increasing food production. I, I do put this a little bit separate from rounding out my preps because this is a little bit more of an active task that's uh, year over year changing and evolving versus I feel like some of those other preps are a little bit more stagnant once you have a system in place you don't need to do much with it. So 
with this fourth one on increasing the garden, I currently do have a garden that I do with uh, my mom and a couple other family members. It's a very large garden. It produces food enough for multiple people, but I want to focus on looking at other ways that may be a little bit more sustainable for people living in more urban or suburban environments that don't have access to acreages and things like that. So we'll be looking into things such as bucket gardening. That's, I know, something that I've heard a lot of people talk about. I've seen a little bit on, but I haven't seen personally too much uh, in-depth uh, explanations and videos out there on it. So that's one of those things from a prepping standpoint I'm going to be focusing on, as well as looking into other options out there. So like, for example, with food production outside of getting animals, because in my specific instance, that's just not an option I can go with at this moment at least. I'm going to be looking at ways to produce food. So if you have ideas, drop them down below. I'm curious to hear what you guys have outside of traditional gardening and we can explore into it and we'll be making content on that. And the fifth item that I'm going to specifically be focusing on that's a resolution for me is working on creating better quality content for this YouTube channel and focusing on delivering you guys the most informative and helpful content. So. That is something that I have been focusing on since I started this channel, but I did jump into this channel with honestly zero experience in videography, zero experience in photography or audio and, and visual items in general. So for me, this was a very new process on filming videos, editing those videos and uploading them onto YouTube. So I appreciate you bearing with me. If you've seen some of my earlier videos, I feel like we've gone a long way since I started here back towards the beginning of September, but I will be the first to say there's definitely a lot longer for us to go and we want to keep improving this content for you guys. So that is my final goal here, you know, and if you guys have ideas on how I can improve this content or you have more items that you want to see in this content that I'm not really touching on, drop it down in the comments below. Again, we'd love to hear feedback from you guys. We'd love to hear your input. I do appreciate it a lot. I always do take it into consideration when it comes to video ideas or when it comes to products you want us to be exploring on this channel or different things you just want us to talk about overall regarding that prepping and SHTF realm. So thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for sticking th with us through these resolutions. You guys all have a great introduction to 2023 here. And most of all, stay safe and stay prepared.